Hey guys, Ninth Street Auto Plaza coming at you out of Mount Carmel, Illinois. Today we got our 2010 Toyota Camry SE. It's got the 2.5 liter four cylinder automatic six speed transmission, 152,000 miles. Uh, MPGs on this thing is uh, 22 in the city and 32 on the highway. Take you on a virtual tour, show you all imperfections of the vehicle. We're gonna start with the front end of this thing. Of course, you do have uh, some rock chips, but uh, down here you have some damage from a, probably a curb. And there's some few rock chips across the front. Uh, there is some up in here on the hood. The lenses are really clear. Rock chips all the way across the front here. Good lenses. Honestly, pretty clean for uh, 2010. There's a little crack right here, but uh, nothing that's uh, too bad. Actually, really nice little unit. Uh, going down the driver's side, front fender, there's a light scratch right here. Uh, tires condition is right around at least 60% left. Um, minor scuffing on the rim right in here. Driver's front door. Uh, there's a little scratch right here. There's a little one down there. Uh, the ground effects down there have some rock chips on them. Uh, there are some fingernail marks kind of like right in here, opening the door. Uh, passenger rear, not really anything to note on it. Down here at the very bottom of this quarter, there is some paint chip down here. No rust, anything like that. Uh, rear quarter, there's a small little ding right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it. We're noting it. Uh, top of the quarter, good condition. Coming around the rear bumper cover. Uh, there's some damage right here. Paint peel or paint chip here and here. Uh, moving groceries in and out. Um, rear deck lid's in good shape. Nothing to note up there. Going up the passenger side. Rear uh, skirt, there is some uh, rubbing right there. Uh, bumper cover coming around, there's a little chip right there. Rear quarter, nothing to note on it. This tires, yeah, it's probably like 65, 70%. There's some delamination right on the center cap. Uh, passenger rear tire, uh, rear uh, door, nothing really to note. Down on the skirt. I must have rubbed something there, right back there. Minor. Uh, front passenger door, there's a little bitty ding right here and a little scratch right here. There's a little scratch right there too. Front fender, rock chip there, a few up around the light. Uh, nothing really to make a difference. This thing right here is, these tires are pretty decent all the way around. So that one's 60, 70% too. Good looking car. Uh, up here it does look like you do have a little nick. And then back here, looks like this trim is uh, somebody's tried gluing it. You can see glue residue. Uh, it is on there, so it's like they've resealed it. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the interior of this car. Front door skin's in good condition. Front seat. There is one burn hole right here. There is not, there's a, not really much of a cigarette uh, smell at all in here. I don't really smell it at all. So uh, clean interior. Do have the book. Dash has some minor markings up here and a nick right there. We'll go through all the electronics once we start the car. All right, rear door skin, there are some little marks up here, nothing really to note, honestly. Uh, Child-proof locks located here. Back seats, excellent condition. Carpet, everything. I'm gonna check the trunk first. The cardboard that sits above this tire is, is weak. It does have a spare tire. Jack is in here. All right, guys, going up the driver's side. Childproof locks if needed. Uh, there is some a little bit on the silver right here, delamination. 
uh, rest of the door skins in good condition along with the back seats. All right, driver's front door. Nothing really to note there. Front driver's seat. It's good right here. It does have a stitch in it right here. So somebody has made the effort to keep this car in decent shape. It's always a plus on a Camry. Um, this only thing I really notice is this visor right here. Uh, somebody's put uh, Velcro on it to help hold it up. So it may fall, may not, may need some more Velcro. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start it up. All right, guys, right now we got 152837. That's 152837 on the miles. There are no check engine lights, anything like that. Uh, that light right there is your tire pressure monitor light, which we don't need to fix any of those. Uh, my door's open right now and I don't have my seat belt on. So only lights on would be your uh, tire pressure monitor light. So no codes, anything like that. We're gonna do a rev test. There's your RPMs. Throttle response is right where it should be. Sounds really good, runs out really good. I just just, just take it on a test drive. It's about uh, uh, about a 20 mile test drive. Um, everything worked, uh, nice running vehicle. Nothing just did fall, so I'll try to get some Velcro or something else like they've fixed and try to get that to hold up better. Um, moving on, we're gonna go through all your windows, electronic functions, that's an auto down and an auto up. That's an auto down and just regular up. The backs are auto down, auto up. That's auto down, auto up. Let's make sure this one's. Yeah, they all work. Auto down, auto ups, all the way around. Uh, let's move on to your mirrors. To your driver's side, it's good to go. Passenger side is good to go. Um, moving on, your uh, stereo. This thing goes up and down sometimes when you try to move the knob. It's kind of common with uh, the Camrys. You can do the, the volume here too. So all the volumes, everything like that works, your mode. Uh, cruise control is located down here. It works as it should. Um, nice car, it's almost full of gas. Uh, just had a service recently. Um, your uh, auxiliary in is down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, and your 12 volts in there. You got your drink holders, uh, change, there's another 12 volt in there. A little bit of storage in here. So, uh, okay, we're gonna go with your sunroof. The sunroof works as it should. So whenever you do this, um, it's hitting this right here and it thinks that it's, it's tough to go. So you gotta get it to push it down and then close it so that's kind of, kind of common Camry thing too all right guys let's go look under the hood um, like I said guys it drove out great no shimmies no shakes anything like that uh, nice thing nice car uh, won't be disappointed on the on the drive let's go look under the hood Clean car, sounds good. guys let's do a little recap on this thing we have a 2010 toyota camry se uh, it's got the 2.5 liter four cylinder automatic six speed transmission 152,000 miles city it gets 22 and highway it gets 32 mpgs uh, any questions give us a call at 618-450-2600 and get us on the web where you can see the carfax and also this video 
at 9thstreetautoplaza.com. Again, 9thstreetautoplaza.com. Guys, I hope this helped your uh, buying experience. You guys have a wonderful